Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kay, and today I have another EKG practice strip for you. Now, overall, when we look at this strip, we see that there's these weird spikes everywhere. So when we see this, the first thing that should come to your mind is that we have a pacemaker. Okay, so when you look at your monitors, you're going to see spikes everywhere when there's a pacemaker. And sometimes you don't see the spike, and then they'll just pop up out of nowhere so that's a demand pacemaker okay so this one that we're looking at we have the spikes popping up in front of our P wave okay so here they're all popping up in front of the P waves so what that should tell you is that this is a atrial pacemaker okay uh, when we refer to the P wave we're referring to the atrium of the heart Okay, so if it popped up here in front of the QRS complex, we will call it a ventricular pacemaker. And if it pops up in front of the P and in front of the QRS, we're going to call that an AV pacemaker, atrial ventricular pacemaker. So this one will be an atrial pacemaker since it's in front of this P wave. And it's, in, and it's like that for every single P wave, okay? Now, whenever we have a pacemaker, we always try to find the underlying rhythm. So we know that we have an atrial pacemaker, but we have to determine the underlying rhythm, okay? And let's see, the first thing that we are going to look for is our P wave. So here we see that we do have a P wave, so it is sinus, right? And our P wave measures 0.18. And just by looking at this, I can already tell that the P waves are even, okay? But if it looks weird, I usually measure it if it's like getting longer and longer, but it's around the same, okay? so. Our P waves are basically the same, so we're going to move on and measure our QRS. Okay, 0.17. All right, so our QRS measures 0 0.10. Okay, so our QRS is normal because the normal measurement of the QRS should be about 0.06 to 0.10. But if it's greater, if it's 0.12 or greater, we call that a bundle branch. But we don't have that because it's less than 0.12. Okay, next we're going to measure our QT. And this has to be less than 0.38. I went over just a little bit too much. Okay, so it's 0.37. So this is a normal QRS. And then now we're going to measure our R to R, which is going to give us our rate. Okay. So our R to R is one second. And usually when you're measuring the R to R on the monitors, it's going to tell you the actual rate. You know, you can count the boxes and use those methods, but this is basically about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 beats per minute. Okay, I'm not going to do the thing with the box and dividing and all that, but this is about 60 beats per minute, which we know is a normal EKG, normal sinus rhythm. And so let's see, what is what are our choices? It's not a flutter. Pacemaker, definitely, yes. Um, single chamber atrial, we'll go with that. Um, PVC, it's not a PVC. It's not junctional because we do have uh, our P waves. It's not SVT because SVT is a very, very fast rhythm and you can't really see the P waves when it's SVT. It's not VFib because nothing is shaking and we have defined um, PR intervals. Okay, so we're going to go with pacemaker. 
Yes, that's correct. So this is a pacemaker single chamber atrial. When they say single chamber, it means that, you know, usually if it's double chamber, it has two spikes. So we have one spikes. So that means that it's a single chamber atrial pacemaker. Okay, so this, the underlying rhythm is a sinus rhythm. So when you have a pacemaker, you want to also get an underlying rhythm. And this one is a sinus rhythm. So on your rhythm strip, you will write a paste. And in parentheses, you will write sinus rhythm, which is the underlying rhythm. And you do not always get an underlying rhythm when you're dealing with pacemakers because sometimes they just look so weird. And you sometimes we only measure the QRS and the QT when there's no P wave present.